it's very odd how everyone is so confined in the shops and doesn't want to speak to each other and you know not wanting to touch things and yeah it's very quickly changed the way we do things not being able to see people it's, it's very strange but I kind of I, I just do everything one day at a time and um, in that way I try not to watch the media too much every other day I run um, and then I exercise indoors and perhaps go for a walk on the alternate day I need, we need to know what, what we're expected to do and to do that, I think it's really important. But other than that, I try not to watch all the speculation. Until someone knows, you know, has some facts that they need to tell us, I don't think there's much point. It makes people very scared and the headlines are still very, very um, dramatic and catastrophizing everything and I think that's really unhealthy. I think it's a difficult situation. I think everybody is trying to do their best and let's just, you know, wish everyone well in doing that and hope that we can come through it. We've got like a real community of neighbors so everybody's looking after one another. You know, people are you don't know <laughs> a friendly sort of thing. So it's a bit like living in a village really, only on a larger scale. Yeah, we've been very lucky. I've been learning from my grandson who's 13. He's, he, he, his mum had to dash off to work because she, she's, uh, she's a uh, teaching assistant and left him and me to work out how to do the Zoom and we got it going so uh, uh, so, so we had a, and then I was doing a sort of gardening lesson with them because they're digging for victory over in Surrey and uh, so, so I was showing them how to how to do a potato patch and all this kind of thing and they're going out and then doing it with their dad Some mental health problems definitely I mean even us and we've got nothing to worry about that you get this sort of sense of anxious because 24-hour news makes you think that something's going on all the time you've got to turn it off for a significant amount of time a day and go and do something else 